welcome to one of England's most breathtaking medieval cities. A city with architecture that is one of the most marvelous sights I've seen. I'm so excited to walk around this beautiful city of Bath here in England. It is the largest city in the county of Somerset. It's near Bristol and many other ancient sites as well, like Stonehenge is nearby, uh, Glastonbury, many others. I'm hyped to show you around here for 30 minutes on the live video to embrace the beauty of the city. Right now we're starting at Bath Abbey, which goes back all the way to the 1100s. A marvel of architecture, Gothic architecture with light streaming in from every single direction. A huge departure from the dark, cavernous, Romanesque churches. This was a cathedral of light. With some of the most beautiful ceilings I've seen thus far. I'm going to zoom in right over here. Look at that. They almost look like blooming flowers or huge canopies of trees, as if they were holding up the church. A mixture of organic and technological. Feast for the soul. Welcome to the medieval city that is Bath. Let's go. I must say that the British are excellent at the way they maintain these churches. I mean, this looks brand new, and this is dating back to the 1100s. That's when it started construction. Of course, back then, to construct a Gothic cathedral took hundreds of years, and this one was no exception. I think it finished around the 1600s, so it was a long time. Uh, but <laughs> it, it's brand new. I mean, the U.S. Some are very pretty, like St. Patrick's, but you go to Cathedral St. John the Divine, which is my favorite in New York, it looks older than this one. I don't know how. It's not as well maintained. I'm just blown away. Gary, you're working from home. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hello, Wendy. Hello, Kay. Bella says, yes, it's immaculate. Indeed it is. Hello, everyone. Hello, Bella. Let me know if you're tuning in. Let me know if you're watching for the first time. Hello, Pablo. Pablo says the pulpit is badass. Yeah. Good to get a plug in for Bath. Oh, yeah. So the name of Bath, we're going to talk about it in a little bit. We have to exit the cathedral first, or not the cathedral, sorry, the abbey. 
Stay tuned. But a spoiler alert, it involves bathing. Ram, you're watching for the first time. Hello, George. Hello, Ronald. Hello, Carolyn. Hello, Mala. Hello, Amy. Hello, Miss Lob. Everyone slam that like button. So I've been unable to plan adequately uh, a live stream schedule because um, some cities like London have terrible reception. So I've been able to kind of tell you when I would go live uh, and I'll wait until a week and a half until I decide what the new live schedule would be. But uh, I'm experimenting with going live at random times in these smaller cities and it is working which is really good in 720p so slam that like button so people can see these shorter live videos afterwards and enjoy them so let me know if you're on team like the network i'm using is o2 The village of shower is only one mile away, says NW. <laughs> indeed, indeed, yeah, yeah. Shower, shower is nearby. And also a uh, jacuzzi, I heard, is a great, great, great city of England. Alter. Maria, you're watching all the way from Staten Island. Thank you so much for tuning in. Is it free tenter? Wendy, it is a miracle. An English miracle. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the first church I have encountered in the great country of England that is free to enter. <laughs> it is quite a miracle. Ladies and gentlemen, rejoice. The masses here can come for free. He says, there always seems to be music when you enter a church. Yeah, I hired a uh, organist to just follow me around. Okay. <laughs> it's my own personal organist. It's part of the Urbanist uh, Now family. different moments in life there's always challenges that may pop by but a challenge is not a time to despair but is a time to try something new to go with the flow of life even when that flow gets heavy because fret not or be gentle once again
And was that my hand le- uh, lighting the candle? Yes, it was. And no, I was not reading a, a plaque or words. It was, it was my own words. I just uh, spontaneously came up with them. I go through out here. Now we're outside of a rainy, windy bath. Why is it called a bath, even in the first place? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's a long, complicated story. For centuries, there has been many changes of names from Aquasulis, which meant hot springs, to Bath. Yep, there was only two names. Because this town, this city, has always been associated with the Roman baths, which are right over here. You can actually walk inside and see all the Roman baths. They're very well preserved. For many centuries, they were lost. Initially, they were built in 70 AD. And then they were not found for many centuries until about the Dark Ages when kings started coming up over here and making their own hot Roman baths because this is one of the few places that has natural hot springs on the England, Britain, Scotland, Wales, etc. And here is the outside of the abbey. So the Roman baths are awesome and a video will be posted, a full video. I walked through the entire thing and that will be posted soon. But there's one interesting thing in front of this abbey. And let me know if you uh, pick it up and it's going to be windy. So pardon, I have, I have a microphone. I'm not sure if it's going to be sufficient, but I hope the wind doesn't, this isn't so annoying. So there's one interesting thing about this abbey here. You see a lot of angels up there. Different figures in the front, holy people of note. I think we see the tree of life right over there, though that's what it appears to be. But what is this? What is this? Wendy, right, steps to heaven. This is Jacob's ladder, ladies and gentlemen. But there's something peculiar about Jacob's ladder. These angels. Are they going to be angels for long? What direction are they going? Ron says one of the angels blinked. <laughs> indeed, indeed it did. You don't look directly at it in the eyes. If you've seen Dr. Who, you know what that means. This is Jacob's ladder. You go up the ladder, you go up to heaven. You go down the ladder, you go down to the inferno, to hell, to the land of demons and eternal suffering. The angels in this position are not going up. They're climbing down. They're descending. Why? I I really don't know. Uh, so if anyone knows that answer, why are the en- angels descending to the inferno? Maybe it's a story of, of um, 
of the Nephilim, maybe? Ooh, wind is fierce. Okay. Crazy wind. <laughs> Let's continue walking around. Robert says fallen angels? Well, yeah, that's what I'm, I'm very curious about. I, I don't know the answer. Uh, they, they are going down. Uh, why? I don't know. Was that the intention to make them look like they're, they're going down? That's what a lot of people interpret it as. Ooh, Cornish Bakery. Diaz says, what's the most surprised you about London? I've been to London before, but uh, in the past few years, I've been studying much more heavily. And one thing that really surprises me about London is how extensive the urban design is and how it well adapted to over 2,000 years of history using extensive rail networks, crisscrossing, uh, underground, overground, all around the city. And how there's businesses implemented in the archways below those rail, railway overpasses and such. So you a bath. This is gorgeous. Mireya says, I see so much mold all over. I'm not sure where you're seeing. It's not mold, it's, it's the marking of uh, rain. Should be, I think. Have you had a meat pie yet? Yes, I have had a meat pie. Uh, I might be posting a video about it soon. I would love to show you more food, um, but almost every restaurant or cafe I've been to has very poor cell phone reception, so I can't just casually So if you want to see the food portions, follow me on TikTok, Ariel Vera, or on Instagram, Urbanist Live, or on Facebook, Urbanist Live as well, and that's where all the food portions are posted, short videos. Hey, Athena, nice to see you here. JC is asking where I'm going next. As I mentioned, it's a surprise. Uh, thank you everyone for your recommendations. I have a lot of British viewers and many of you were so kind enough to give me amazing recommendations. But I am going with the flow and enjoying you and showing you beautiful sights that I don't know about yet. Look at this. Rosalyn says these buildings were cleaned. Indeed they were. Rosalyn, Rosalyn from Bath, who's urged me to come to Bath. Not to have a bath. Look like I do that all the time. But to come to Bath for many, many years. So Rosalyn. Wow, beautiful. So many roadways we can go through. Mmm, smells like incense. Look at this. TDR. And so it says, discover a hidden unique venue above the streets. It's a coffee shop and a live music bar. Oh, that's awesome. Streets are surprisingly clean, says Sita. Uh, Fish Bakehouse. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay. 
Aida says, go inside some of the shops. Very poor reception in most of the shops. I'll show you from the outside. Here we have a second-hand store. And let me go up this way, because I want to show you more the upper Might be a quick pasty, let's try it out. <laughs> 